start device. over again. Okay. Go ahead. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Camera? <laughs> yeah, camera Sorry, action. <laughs> Saturday afternoon, October 10th, 2015, American Solar Energy Society. What we're looking at today is other alternatives to heating using natural gas. I have been using this stove for about 10 years. This stove will burn wood. It will burn coal. It will burn corn. It will burn pellets. Um, by, by putting them into the firebox at designated times, I use the stove for heating water, for dehumidification, for cooking food. While the fire is going, in addition to it heating the building or providing the heat source, 1906, purchased on eBay. This is an oven. Whenever I have this of the stove on, I have something cooking in the oven. Whenever the stove is on, I also have supporting our dehumidifying pot. Um, very simple to do. Our grandparents did it. Um, we do it. Um, source of energy. On the top there is a fan that is controlled by a snap switch so that when the temperature of the stove reaches a desired temperature, there is a fan that is on, on, in between the wall and will pull the heat from the basement to the upper attic area. Again, we're burning. We can burn wood. We can burn coal. Um, not, not a good choice. One pound of coal burning for one hour, one pound of coal, it takes one pound of coal to light a light bulb for a 100 watt light bulb for an hour. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, do we want to keep burning this? Do we want to keep eating this? Do we want to keep breathing this? One pound of coal, here's a pound of coal, here's a light bulb, we'll, one pound will heat up for one hour, fluorescent bulb. So have a great day.